Hello and welcome to Beanworks University. This lesson is only for Beanworks system administrators. Only system administrators can manage lists and change fields requirements. When you initially set up your Beanworks, you need to do some basic configurations to the lists and required fields for coding. Let's start with list management. Click on the gear in the upper right corner and select settings. The general settings screens will open by default. Click on list management in the left menu. Here you can set up some basic changes to the lists for each legal entity that has been set up in Beanworks. Start by selecting the company you want to work on from the legal entity dropdown. There are two actions you can do with a list that are usually done when first setting up your Beanworks. If you're using our Beanworks sync tool when setting up your integration, we pull in every available coding list from your ERP, even if you do not actively use that list. You can choose to deactivate a list. It is then removed from the available fields when users are coding. That way, your Beanworks stays clean and concise to ease your operations. Select the list that you want to deactivate and choose No from the active dropdown list. The second action you can do with a list is to set a default. Setting a default means that this value will be selected when creating an invoice, PO, or payment. Good examples of this are taxes and AP accounts. To do this, select the list for which you want to define a default value. We're going to use an AP account as an example. Find the default value you want and press the default button. Confirm your choice by clicking yes on the pop-up that appears. Repeat the same process to deactivate lists and set defaults for each legal entity you have in Beanworks. You can change both the active lists and defaults after the original setup, but this would be a rare occurrence. The second area this lesson focuses on is the list of coding fields. Click on the module you want to set up in the settings area and choose coding fields in the left menu. Coding field configurations are applied to the specific module and individual legal entity level. The first configuration you can do in this area is to define which fields are mandatory in order to submit for approval. This should match the required fields within your ERP. Click on the fields you want to make required and then press Save in the lower right corner. If anyone is set up with the Super Approver role, they can modify details while approving. You can define here which fields they're allowed to modify at this stage. Always press Save in the lower right corner when you're done. Finally, set the minimum and maximum number of characters for the text fields in Beanworks. This should also match your ERP settings. If your ERP has a maximum of 20 characters for invoice number, then put in 20 under max length and press save. Set a minimum length if, for example, you always need leading zeros for consistent invoice numbers length. Make sure you do this process for each legal entity to prevent any coding and sync errors. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please contact Beanworks support at support at beanworks.com.